Welcome to Beauty Expert here with another video coming to you from my closet. Uh, I want to talk to you guys today about my 10 favorite cosmetic products. These are things that I would consider staples in my cosmetics routine, things that I just could not live without. Um, these are the things that I rebuy um, when I run out of. So I have sort of a half and half split between my high-end items and my more bargain items. So I'm going to go through the high-end items first. Um, the first one is the Clinique Acne Solutions Foundation. This is my absolute favorite foundation. If you have an acne skin type, this is a must have. Um, it does have salicylic acid in it. So um, in addition to covering some of the blemishes, it actually heals them as well. So I love that. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't um, clog my pores or anything like that. So I love that one. Um, the other product that I have here is the Smashbox Contour Palette. There's three, three colors in here. This is your contour, this is your bronzer, and this is your highlight. I love this palette. This was actually a gift from my bestie. Um, I love it because the contour is really nice and cool. Um, it's not warm. It doesn't have any shimmer in it. Uh, it's really the perfect color for anybody with um, lighter skin tones. So that's the contour. The bronzer is nice. Again, none of these have shimmer in them. I love that. It's hard to sometimes find a bronzer with no shimmer in it. Um, so that's the bronzer. And then the highlight is just a really nice light sort of fair color. Um, so I love that. I use that on myself. I use it a lot when I do makeup applications for work. Um, so that's the Smashbox Contour Palette. Uh, the other product I want to talk to you guys about is my favorite eyeshadow primer. This is the Too Faced um, shadow insurance primer. These last forever. I've literally had this forever. Um, they last a really long time. Again, I use this on myself. I use it on my clients. Um, it's almost gone. I'm like squeezing it like the tube of toothpaste. Um, so that is my favorite eyeshadow primer. I do have an oily skin type, so my makeup does tend to crease um, and migrate. Uh, so this is a must have. I literally don't wear eyeshadow unless I use a primer. Um, the other thing that I do love that is a little bit more high-end is the uh, Urban Decay Razor Sharp Liquid Liner. I love this. It's almost like a little teeny tiny felt tip marker. It's got the tiniest little brush on it. I love that. It's great for getting that perfect wing and it stays on like nobody's business. It literally doesn't go anywhere until you go to remove it and even then. <laughs> um, so I do love that. Um, that is my favorite liquid liner. And the other high-end product is, of course, my Lip Sense. <laughs> Shameless promotion time. Um, I love Lip Sense. You guys know I'm an independent distributor for Senegens. Lip Sense is my favorite lip product. I literally use nothing else. Since about February, I started using the Lip Sense and I've gotten rid of everything else that I have. These are next level. Um, it stays on like nobody's business. I have it on right now. Right now I have on one coat of Sheer Berry Diamond, two coats Goddess, and then the Pearl Gloss over top. They don't go anywhere. There's no budging, no smudging, nothing. All you see is that gloss on that finger. That's all that comes off. Um, and you can put the gloss on whenever you want if you feel like your lips are a little bit dry. off you go. Um, so that is amazing. Lasts up to 18 hours and it really does. So that's my lip sense. So for my bargain items, um, these are sort of go-tos that I've found that I love. Um, sometimes I switch it up between different products, but I always seem to go back to these ones. Um, so the first one I want to talk to you about, I just bought brand new yesterday, was the Physician's Formula Mineral Powder. I love these. I have tried other powders. I like the Pure Minerals one. I like the Bodyology one. There's a lot of brands that I like, but this one is so affordable. It's under $20. I can get it at Walmart. It's talc-free. That to me is the most important thing. If you have an acne skin type or a sensitive skin type or you're prone to breakouts, um, you need a talc-free powder. So it comes like this. They do have compacts. They have different types of loose powder. This was the one that was on sale, so this was the one that I got. So I do love that, however, I don't use the brush that comes with it. I do use my Kabuki brush that I love. Um, so that's the Physician's Formula Talc-Free Mineral Wear. 
those are amazing. Um, also, I love the e.l.f. products. I don't know if you guys have any of you have tried the e.l.f. products, um, but they're very affordable. I used to order them online right through their website, um, which was fine. However, I'm in Canada and it's always US dollars and the shipping was not cheap. Recently, Walmart started carrying the e.l.f. products, which is amazing. Um, so I love their cream eyeliners. Their cream eyeliners, you can see I've dug into that one. Um, they are, I swear to you guys, a dupe for the MAC cream eyeliners. They are awesome. They are under $5. And the great thing about the e.l.f. products is that they're cruelty free and um, really great if you're on a budget. And even their packaging is cruelty free. Their brushes, like sometimes you get brushes that have like the natural bristles, which is fine, but it's nice. Like they have really nice synthetic brushes as well that are really, really soft. So my Kabuki brush is an e.l.f. brush. Um, this is the one that I like to use for my contouring. Um, so the cream liner, I highly recommend. It really works like a dream. Um, and the other e.l.f. product that I wanted to talk about, actually I've got a couple here. Um, their high definition under eye setting powder, the same kind of packaging. It's just a white setting powder. If I can, if you can see that it's kind of white. Um, I use that underneath my eyes. I like it because as I said, my, my face is very oily. So I, my makeup does tend to migrate. Um, so if I put that on underneath my eyes after I've done my eyeshadow, I find I don't get the raccoon eye quite so early on in the day. Um, so I love that. Um, I know there's other ones out there, but I do find they're all very similar and this one's under $5. Um, and again, cruelty free, which is great. The other elf product I want to talk to you about quickly is the Elf All Over Color Stick. Sorry, the I use it a lot, so the writing is kind of faded. <laughs> um, this is, I actually use it as a highlight, but it just looks like a stick. So I've actually used it here. I find it gives you like a really nice highlight. When I wear this one, I get a lot of compliments. Somebody always comments on it. Anytime that I've worn this one, uh, the color is persimmon. I've also had one, I think it's called Pink Lemonade. It's a little bit lighter. Um, so I love that. It's super easy. You don't need a brush or anything. You just kind of smudge it on with your finger. And the last one that I want to talk to you guys about is my under eye concealer. This is under $10. I get it at the drugstore. It's the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser of Dark Circles. So this works great. It's got like a little spongy thing. I love it. It works great. Um, the reason I like it so much is that it doesn't crease under the eyes. It doesn't get into any of those little fine lines. It really covers nicely and it's quick because it's got the little sponge. So you just underneath your eye, rub it in, off you go. So those are my favorite 10 staple products in my cosmetic routine. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like the video and uh, hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified when I make new videos. I was recently nominated for the nail industry tag, so that will be my next video, hopefully coming within the next few days. I'm working on my questions. Um, and please leave a comment in the comment box if there's anything specific you'd like to see going forward. And thanks for watching. Bye.